Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm afraid there is no intro because this wasn't intended to be a second vlog. It was supposed to be all one vlog. But if it was all one vlog, it would be about 50 minutes long and we can't have that. That's too long, isn't it? That's just too much commitment, isn't it? So please go watch the first part first because it will make a lot more sense. And we're just setting off from Lidl's in Leamington Spa after just getting some shopping. And we're heading for Radford where we're going to moor up. This guy just caught a huge bream here, you might be able to see it on the GoPro footage. Speaking of bream, here's a pretty big dead one. Oh wow, aren't they the cutest thing ever? This is why we love spring so much on the canals.
At this point we notice these arrows on trees and stuff and this can only mean one thing, directions for some sort of event on the towpath, which we do not want to be part of because it's obviously going to take place on the weekend and it's Friday. So we decide to carry on and try and get past the arrows. This beautiful viaduct here is part of the Leamington to Rugby Railway which opened in 1858 and it closed in the 60s with a lot of the railways and it's now been turned into a cycleway but I'm not really sure why it closed though because wouldn't Leamington to Rugby be quite a popular route? But the good thing about this is this is where the arrows come off and it must create some sort of circular route. We were going to moor here, but this is a, just a tad bit too busy for us. Here's Dave. Oh, well, we <laughs> this, this, is, this is Dave we met today. He's a lovely chap. And his boat hasn't got a name yet, but it's called Mary. But he hasn't put the name on. Lovely name. He keeps ditching you know, us though, doesn't he? And you know, guys, we've got that by mistake. We've got an extra yeah. one because Olive already have one. And we've been through, we only went through one lock with you, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, I went to the point. Yeah, and I yeah. said, I wish we'd gone through hat and locks with you. Well, we've given, given him the hat and flight 21 locks because we've already got <laughs> Thank it. Thank you so much. That's all right. Have yeah, you got any go. plaques? Was that your first one? No, I've got I've got the Nottingham one where she was from. And oh, that's okay. the second one. That's the second oh, one. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, so, you put that one up, does not No, it? no, no. I've got it on yeah, in the cupboard got, ready. We've got to give him something to do, guys, now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> put a couple of screws in. Yeah, I'll be definitely watching in on you all. Yeah, anyway. Taylor's oh, okay. board, we're called. Yeah, I know. Taylor's nice. board. And um, what's the dog's called? What's the dog? uh, that's Daphne. Daphne. Oh, Daphne, that's nice. Well, Mary the boat, Dave the guy, and Daphne. and Daphne the dog. Yeah. Oh, oh lovely. Nice. Yeah, when we moored here, one of our nappy bins has got trapped in the armco. It happens quite a lot, so we've got to try and hammer it out now. For God's sake. This is my left hand, so... <laughs> Bear with me. Go. No. There we go. Nice. Nice rippers. <laughs> um, do you notice anything wrong, guys?
I just started laughing, she looked down like, ooh. Now it's time for some lovely drone footage of the surrounding area. Mod up, guys. Mum's being dad, doing the ropes. <laughs> Certainly, things. Oh, quite a long day that was. Yeah. Uh, seven miles and eight locks. Ah, oh, I, I thought it was seven miles, seven locks. Okay. No, it was. We done another lock. Mm. We just done this lock. Did that one. Because we, the thing is, we were down there, mm. more behind that boat. But you've just, the lookout is just like the, the lock. wall to the. Yeah. To the lock. So that wasn't very nice. So instead, we came up here, and <coughs> because there used to be, I'll tell you the story behind that. These locks, but I probably did in the last video. I don't know if I do it in voiceover. I know the story behind them now. If you, you can see, all everything around these wide beam locks is concrete. Okay, concrete wasn't invented till 19 something. I don't know, but 1930, these wide beam locks have been. Originally, before that, it was the narrow locks. But 1930, they got rid of these narrow locks and put in the wide locks. Probably something to do with railway competition. Um, they needed to carry more cargo at I think once. You might have told them that yesterday. No, I what told you that. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I, I didn't search off until after. Yeah, so those lo narrow locks, um, they've been discontinued since. 1932 or something. So yeah, that's why it's all right. concrete around it. Um, and that's why the lock down over there is concrete and this one's just brick. Quite interesting. Um, <laughs> but we, we're more down there behind that boat and the bloody, put the nappy pins in at the front and the back. Yeah. And then we um, went and gave the guy the plaque Dave, Dave, lovely yeah. guy. Wasn't a Mark or Steve for once? No, no, we, we we met him in the. I think we mentioned him, didn't we, when we were at Lidl's? Yeah. Yeah, we went into a lock with him, and I've got an extra hat and flight placard that I bought. We bought by mistake, so we caught up with him here. I said, "Don't go, don't go yet." And so it's Dave. Um, the be the boat's called Mary, and the little dog's called Daphne. Didn't see the dog. Oh, what a lovely chap! So we gave the plaque to him, didn't we? Mm. Placard to him. Yeah, he deserved it because he, he probably said, went through by himself. Yeah, he's he only got like I think we said we, he's only got the boat, so he's only got Nottingham. He's got a Nottingham plaque. He said, "Oh, that'd be my second one." Yeah. But going back to the nappy pin, it wouldn't bloody come out back there. Yeah, but I went down there as you saw with a hammer <laughs> and got it out. But I didn't tell you that when I went down there, the guy in that boat, yeah, because he walked past. He obviously saw the rope there. Oh, is that the that. one that didn't say hello? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Did tell you that. Um, anyway, yeah. When I got down there, I don't know why I'm whispering when he's like all the way down there. <laughs> Look, I got down there. Yeah. And he came out with a hammer. He came out with a hammer to get and it. He saw me bashing it and he went back in. He was going to steal the nappy pin. He was going to steal the nappy pin. And we paid 25 quid for two of those with the ropes. Mm. So they weren't that cheap. <laughs> but, but yeah, we've oh, this is a lovely spot. Yeah, we just need some sun to come out again now. There was a slightly worrying thing. We saw arrows on a tree, <laughs> on trees, like a luminous mm. yellow with black arrows. And, and you know I said to means. Josh, he didn't know. I said, I reckon there's going to be a, a running competition or mm. some sort of run or cycle ride on or the something. weekend. But luckily, yeah, us, luckily. There's an old abandoned railway, because I thought, mm, 
there's got to be some point. They're not going to run back the same way <laughs> because obviously the runners might clash and they'll it'll be too busy. They're going to find a circular route. And luckily there was an arrow coming off on the uh, this old railway here. Yeah. Bridge so 33A. They'll be, they'll be running down there. Yes. And that is down there. So, <laughs> so they're in, a nice piece of quiet. And this looks really quiet for the yeah. cats as well. Topaz in terrible condition. Yeah. Which is a good thing. We like that. Well, if we they're in like terrible um, conditions... It means they're not really it's busy. Usually, yeah, it usually means there's not many people. Mm. And cyclists or dogs or yeah, anything. Yeah, we came through uh, Warwick and Leamington Spa. Yeah. Leamington Warwick, mad, you Warwick know. was alright, but Leamington Spa was a very built up, wasn't it's it? Just, I know the city's Quite nice, industrial. but we didn't go through the nice parts, unfortunately. No, Warwick, I want to go and see Warwick mm, Castle. So, I don't know, maybe tomorrow, oh, what if the race is on tomorrow? So then we'll have a look. So you could probably well, maybe we'll drive it. back, we might drive back with Dad and have a little look around. Because we want to have a look around Warwick and I'd maybe like Leamington Spa. Yeah, I'd like to see Warwick. Mm. The castle looks lovely. And we'd like to show you guys what yeah. Warwick's like. The nice part of it, at least. Yeah. But the bit we went through wasn't that nice. Well, the bit we drove through mm, yesterday was, really was nice. gorgeous. Yeah. Really nice. Mm. Reminded me a bit of Bath. You've done that again, Josh. I didn't thing. burp, okay? <laughs> didn't mean to. <laughs> right, oh, well, thank you. Well, been a lovely cruise, Josh. Mm. Just me and Josh, and no hiccups. No problems at all. I'm putting this face here, I'm thinking I'm sneeze. All this pollen's flying around like the snow. Yeah. yeah, as you can see, the clouds are getting really dense now. Yeah, I think it's going to rain. And it's supposed to rain at 5 o'clock, it's 4 o'clock. So, yeah. So, so we did do that really, we did that, we timed that really well. Oh, I think we're quite pleased actually, because we're, <laughs> we're, we're fed up of everything going wrong, weren't we? But I've accomplished double locks today, and I've accomplished going in with somebody as well. Mm. So that's quite good. I was yeah. a bit wary about that one I about hitting the boat but he that guy was lovely Dave because he said I'm not in any rush he said I didn't want to go into um, the flights or the locks when people are in a rush you know and they just want to get through and mm. so yeah it's, so yeah oh, I'll keep on saying that <laughs> well we don't so, know what the insects like at the moment but I don't imagine it's gonna be too good because we're in the middle of bloody who knows nowhere now we're really locks that's where we are. Oh, right. Foss Locks. Number 21, that is. Maybe it's to do with the Foss Way. Because the Foss Way, the road's down here. Foss Way, it's called. Oh, uh, yeah, it? probably. Yeah, it's probably to do with that. It's just going crazy. Uh, we're yeah. going to stay here until probably Monday. Until Dad. Hopefully. Get... The Sunday isn't night. Too bad. Sunday night, your dad should be back. Yeah. So we well, might... it's quite a walk. I don't know if. I don't know how far the next car park is to that one. Right, well, I'll, just, I'll just see which one the closest yeah. one is. Yeah, I'll just take the trolley because he usually mm. brings stuff back and that. Well, the so. towpath's better that way for the trolley, isn't it? Yeah, and we're, we're, and we're hoping to catch up with Dave again because he's mm. going to be on the Oxford yeah. Canal. So that's where he's going, that's isn't it? it? Thank heading? you very much for watching, Thank guys. You. Uh, please like and subscribe. Subscribe is 100% free. And if you want to check out our Patreon, um, we've got Patreon where we upload exclusive videos such as vlogs from my pre previous channel and early access and cooking videos and also story videos are going to start doing soon. And don't forget you've got a new thank you button. Yes, I'm about to say that. Oh. <laughs> um, YouTube has kindly given me the thank you button and it's down by the like button, down there somewhere. I don't know. Like, uh, dislike, don't don't press that one. Subscribe um, and there must be a, a love heart there. Love heart says thanks. <laughs> Give us your bloody money. <laughs> No, I'm joking. Um, yeah, <laughs> I've just got to say thank you to Jane Jackson. Yeah, I think you're the first she, one. Aren't she you? was the first one and yeah. she gave us $10. Thank so, you. Thank you. I don't know if she lives in the USA, Canada, mm. or. But thank you very much, Jane. It's yeah. really appreciated. Cheers for that. Thank you. And that's it. Bye. See you later, guys. Bye.